Hello everybody and uh, welcome all my subscribers. This video is just made for you because my channel, The General Mo, has reached over a thousand subscribers. It is truly amazing and I want to thank all of you by doing this question and answers video where you guys have sent me tons of questions and I'm going to answer all of them. And uh, before we start, just want to say a big thanks to everyone who has supported me and commented on my videos, uh, the Facebook groups like Plastic Apocalypse and uh, Brick Filmers United, great communities, um, been really supportive, everyone has been a great help and I just want to thank all of you. Anyway, let's get started. Kananan asks, what camera do you use and will you continue to make LEGO Star Wars Stormtrooper videos? Okay, so I decided to get this question down first because a lot of people ask what kind of camera I use, what software I edit with, and um, all that. So I'm just going to get it all done in this uh, question. Well, I don't really have a camera to say, but I film using my iPad and there's this really great app called Stop Motion Studio. And um, that's what I use. I film with my iPad using that app. And then I edit on my Mac where I use iMovie to edit everything, the sound, the arrangement. Um, I don't have any programs for special effects. Um, most of them are practical because I don't really know how to do it. And I can't be bothered paying for Adobe or something like that. But yeah, it's all very simplistic, very basic, which goes to show that anyone can do a stop motion video very easily. You don't need to have the fanciest equipment or um, anything. It's just about getting the story told. And concerning the second question about the uh, continuation of the Stormtrooper series, um, I plan to sometime in the future. I've still got plenty of footage that I haven't used and I would like to get around to finishing off some of it. But for the moment I've got a couple of other projects that are distracting me at the moment and uh, one at a time, you know. A uh, frequently asked question is, what is my frames per second? Well, I film at 15 frames per second for most LEGO films and around about 12 frames per second for Army Men films most of the time. Stephen Tan asks, can we have a studio tour? Well, of course I'll have one. And um, I just want to take this opportunity, by the way, to uh, thank Stephen Tan for um, all the hard work and stuff like that he has done for me. And just being really supportive in the uh, my YouTube career. He's been great help. Thanks, Stephen. Okay, um, this is my studio uh, tour, as requested by Stephen Tan. Um, here is a basic overview. This is where I do all the filming. It's right underneath my loft bed, and um, I've got a table set up with my two studio lights and my iPad stand the chair I sit in while I direct and um, I am surrounded by just tons of Lego parts. I got a table where I just build Lego things and props and the sets. I have tubs with different colored parts in them, uh, designs, uh, models, part containers here. Yeah, it's just all all over the joint so I'll just break it down in this video. Okay, so I am sitting in the director's chair, which is um a bit broken. Um, uh, here I have my iPad stand, which is extremely useful for filming on the tables and stuff like that. Um, it's got from uh, that focuses uh, stands for stuff. Um, and there's the website just down on the bottom there. Um, really cool iPad stand. Um, that was a very neat purchase. Um, here I have my giant canvas that I've painted uh, my backgrounds on. I've got blue daylight and uh, nice afternoon. I just brought a giant canvas and uh, painted that on myself. And I just flip it around from whenever I want to uh, do different scenery. Okay, with my two studio lights on, um, this area is illuminated better. Um, I've got all my minifigures, well, most of them, uh, stashed away over here on different platforms so they're easily accessible. Even so, they're very, it's all very messy. Um, there's like clones and rebels and stormtroopers all over the joint. Um, here's a better look at uh, how I build my set. So, yeah, it's on a raised platform. I've just uh, blue tacked that brick there, the whole um, the stand into place. And yeah, so I'm filming Takadana and uh, 
I use a lot of perspective to get into lots of different things when I'm filming, as you can see. Um, on my shelf, I have containers for even more parts. Um, down here, I've got a Lego instruction box, craft stuff, army men, and model making tubs down there. There's quite a few broken sets around the joint. Um, they get a bit dusty just lying around. Um, let me just stand up. So there's an overview of the studio. Um, I've got three of these lights. Um, one of them has a blown fuse. But um, they're really good. They are cheap. They came off eBay for $300. Can't remember the buyer. If I find it, I'll put it down in the description. Um, anyhow, there's a better view of my canvas. Um, uh, the shelves. Uh, this giant box here is... Uh, a little something special I'll talk about a little bit in the vi in a later in the video um, yeah and over there is my shelf where I keep some stuff I'll go over there for you. this is my um, display shelf where I have um, all my Lego Star Wars stuff got my TIE Fighters, Star Destroyers and um, shuttles and other odd vehicles and the boxes down below um, on top of the shelf, I have a replica uh, World War II German Falschmiger paratrooper helmet. That's very neat. Got that at a uh, World War II, well, just military replica store and stuff for about uh, 300 bucks. And um, down here I have some Lego tubs. Um, I have about three of these huge Lego tubs. There's one here, one stacked underneath it, and one just over there. Um, and also about four smaller tubs as well. I've got uh, various shelves and stools and just stands and stuff everywhere. Um, it's very cluttered. Um, yeah, this is um, a very cramped working space. Under here I have another lamp which um, having different lamps is very useful. I use this for illuminating up like lights in the walls and stuff like that. And under here, I'm sure this is probably what everyone's been looking for. Um, these are my army men. Uh, so I have a separate tub for all my tan soldiers. As you can see there, just let that focus. Tan soldiers tub. Then I've got Army Man Accessories tub, which is just tents, barbed wire, sandbags. An uh, entire tub full of green soldiers. A tub full of um, various um, Army Men vehicles, like tanks and jeeps and um, aircraft. And I don't know where the other tub is, but I've got another tub that's just got all the different colours, like tan, green, well, no, no tan soldiers, but green, blue, grey, just lots of various Army Men. I've got my uh, shelf, which is just full of various things, like my uh, models mainly. But also there's um, the chessmen from uh, Sand Siege. I've made a whole bunch more since then. And I've created the two sides, the reds and the uh, blues. Hopefully I can get around to making a uh, sequel video sometime in the future. But yeah, uh, lots of books on war and just magazines and stuff. Uh, my AT-80, which needs some new joints on it. Hopefully I get some off Bricklink or somewhere. And, um, yeah, that's my studio. Just a quick tour. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And um, just a little insight to how I make some of my indoor videos. Army men videos are a completely different subject altogether. <laughs> Master Al asks, how did you get into animation? Well... I got into animation at a very young age. Um, on YouTube there was lots of animations of army men and Lego and the Lego website also posted uh, stop motion animations that people had done and I wanted to make my own so um, I asked my parents, my uncle how I could do it, they brought me a camera and then I started making my own animations at a very young age, I'm not sure uh, maybe 13, 12, something like that and um, yeah, it's been I've been doing it since then. It's been kind of on and off, but uh, I go into a bit more further detail in my interview with um, Sergeant Keesling, um, which I'll provide a link in the description below where I talk about how I got into animations at a young age. Luke asks, 
Which of your videos is your favourite and why? Well, that's a very interesting question. Um, I have to say that one of my favourite videos is probably the first one I did, Army Member for the Backyard. Looking back on it now, it's pretty cringy and um, old, but um, it's my best video and it kicked off my uh, YouTube career. Um, another one of my videos I'd say probably one of my favourite. Um, hmm, probably uh, the Stormtrooper Series 1 Workplace Safety. That was a very fun film to make. Another one of my favourite videos, which was a lot of fun to make, would probably be uh, the shooting range one. That was a great video that turned out real well for me. MLT Lego Films asks, Who is your favourite Star Wars character and why? Well, my favourite Star Wars character has to be the Imperial Stormtrooper. Though technically not an individual character, these Stormtroopers have been probably one of my favourite elements of uh, Star Wars. The elite Imperial Shock Troopers that are... Uh, storm into bases and stuff like that. Something about their white armour and their appearance really got me hooked as a young age and um, they've just been my favourite character since. I really love the design of the uh, new First Order Stormtroopers and also the uh, Clone Troopers have got a bit of a soft spot in me despite the fact I don't really like the prequels but it has to be the Imperial Stormtrooper that I really like. Um, actual characters I would say would be Darth Vader, the Emperor, Kylo Ren. I tend to gravitate more towards the uh, villains because I find them more interesting and I um, I don't know, it's just something about the villains in um, fiction and stuff like that that I really like. Though there are some crappy ones out there, Star Wars has some really solid villains that I just really love. Astro Quills Productions asks, what are your thoughts on Rogue One and other future Star Wars films and what other things are you into besides Army Men and Star Wars? Okay, um, the Star Wars movies. Well, I'm excited for Rogue One. I am pretty excited for it because out of all the Star Wars spin-off films that they've been saying, Rogue One is the one I actually want to see because I really want to see just a land battle in Star Wars, just see like a proper battle between Stormtroopers and Rebels. And um, that is really like an idea that I wanted to see on the big screen. Some of the other spin-off films, like a Han Solo movie, Boba Fett movie, Obi-Wan Kenobi movie, I don't really care about them. Like, I don't really want a Han Solo movie or something. I'm sure I might change my mind when I see the trailers or something, but I really don't think they need to be told. I don't need to see them. But um, the sequel saga, or the sequel trilogy that's going on right now, I think is great at the moment. I really loved The Force Awakens. It was a great movie, great back into Star Wars, it was really good. Disney is doing pretty well by the looks of things. I hope Rogue One turns out well. Um, the um, the thing about the Star Wars movies is that we're just getting one a year, which, you know, some people say, well, you know, it's a lot of Star Wars, but at least it's not um, superhero movies, where I've gotten absolutely sick of superhero movies. I wasn't really interested in superheroes to begin with, but I tried getting into the Marvel movies. They were good, but... When it got up to Age of Ultron, I was just like, yep, I'm tired of this. It's the same old thing, just over and over. And the fact that we're getting, like, six of them every year, because we've got DC doing it as well and stuff like that, um, yeah, I'm not too interested in those, which is why I'm kind of glad at the moment. It's just one Star Wars movie each year. So, yeah, that's pretty much what Christmas has been replaced by, Star Wars. Um, but, yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to those movies, but not so much the spin-offs, pretty much. Things I'm into other than Star Wars and Army Men. Well, with Army Men, it's kind of like a part of the military history that I'm really interested in. World War I, World War II, Ancient Rome, uh, Napoleonic Wars. I really like those. Read a lot of books about them. Uh, when it comes to m other movies, I really like um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Clint Eastwood movies. They're probably my two favourite actors. Arnold's usually at his best when he's in a corny action movie like Commando, but he's also in some great movies like the Terminator movies, well just one and two mainly. Clint Eastwood is a great actor, an absolute legend. Um, I love his films like Dirty Harry, Escape from Alcatraz, um, whatchamacallit, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, really great films, love those. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I do enjoy quite a few shows like... Um, Adventure Time, Invader Zim, Mythbusters, um, kind of shows like that, and there's always like the documentaries and stuff like that. I find those really interesting. 
pretty much my main interests are in military and sci-fi, and if you combine those two together, then um, that's a pretty good combo for me. Continued in part two.